Yo, what's poppin'? We back with some more of it. And we got Charleston White. Now, Charleston White says that WAC 100 has been mentioning his name for not just one, not just two, but three years now. And he's just been sitting back, letting it slide, letting it slide, letting it slide. But Charleston White said, look, he's done letting it slide. I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's get into it. Good morning, everybody. I guess we saw. I guess everybody saw the academics thing last night. I see Wack One Hundred still tucking that tail, huh? See, this would get me. And I, I got a whole lot of. See, he really don't want to debate me. See, cause he can bully everybody else with his loud voice, with the on par rule, with the I pull up on you. And, and, and this would see Wack talk like he'll go places and do things. But he talked like that with, as if there's going to be no consequences. So people get online and all these people say, I'm going to do this to you. Okay. When you do something, you got a camera that's going to see you. Even if the person you do something to don't call the police. You got a camera that's going to see it. Uh, you, you got a, 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 a witness who may be outside to see it. They may. So why would these? talk as if they so bad and everybody know if you tough if you bad jail and the graveyard is in your path when did these tough start saying man he go call the police what shoot up a neighborhood don't somebody end up calling the police when you somebody the police go get called when y'all shoot up the clubs the police get called and somebody have to go to jail so I'm, I'm posing the question to these new internet street gangsters. When did street start being afraid of going to jail? I thought that came with being G. I had to go to jail. When I was in jail, I was kicking. I walked the level one. I thought that was part of the bragging rights. So obviously, uh, Wacky 100 and the Wacker Nets, maybe they not as tough as he's barking to be. Maybe he ain't this tough that he'll do nothing. Maybe he just selling wolf cookies online, want people to believe he's this hardened guy. Man, maybe the is is a cream puff. Maybe Charleston White and come to the internet and expose the black community finally for what they are—a bunch of cream puffs. See was afraid of the Crips and the Bloods and the Pyrus and the Bounty Hunters because they could outnumber everybody. And normally they picked on regular people. So you couldn't stand up to them. Here come Charleston White, a guy that's 5'7 in height. I weigh 125 pounds. I'm 5'7. I weigh 125 pounds. If I miss two days without eating three meals a day, I'm going to get to 123. I ain't never in my life been over 130 pounds. I got one eye. And I talk bad to everybody in the boys home, in jail, to the police. I talk bad to everybody. I don't back down from nobody. And I'm always alone by myself or with me and one other. I'm never with a group of niggas. I'm never with a group of niggas. And I'm walking around this country. And this one tough guy, Pyro, Blood, Sue, woo, 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 is saying, man, I'm going to stay away from that guy because he'll put you in jail. Okay, put you in jail for what, Wack? What can I put Wack 100 in jail for, y'all, for him to be so afraid of me? Let's think about this. What? Can I put WAC 100 in jail for? For this to be running like this. That running from this tongue lashing. See, they ain't never seen a with a conversation or articulation, a education, intelligence, bravado, and, and, and a conversation with, a, with, with, with wits and, and, and charisma and, and, and even comical jokes at times. I run circles around these. These better go in the booth and get a beat. Find a producer, somebody that can mix and master it and try to compete with me. 
not just talking. They can't debate. They can't or they can't do nothing with me. Them can't even with me. <laughs> them can't even with me. That's how bad I am to these. Did you hear what DJ Academic said during the rolling loud? After I made Soldier Boy, I was walking down Collins Ave by my myself. Think about that. You'll never see Wack 100 doing that. I'm a mastermind, Wack 100, and you cannot defeat a masterminded man with a purpose, facilitating a vision. You just talking. That's why you can't stand up to me. That's why you got to come with lies, Wack 100. That's why you won't talk my community work. You won't talk the fact that I've trained state correctional officers, juvenile correctional officers, probation officers, probation departments. That's why you run away from what's really documented about me. So we're going to just say you're a That's what we'll identify you as, Wack, a real you talk about everybody, gonna thug a snitch, this, this, that. He go put me, I'm gonna still put me in jail, but you keep my name in your mouth. You make public threats on people. Why wouldn't you be afraid to go to jail then? Because most people don't have to press charges. All you have to do is commit a crime. Your law enforcement knows that a crime was charged. Nobody have to press charges. Like all law enforcement have to know is that a crime was committed. You call the CPS on young lady that with, with babies, my for what? Because she's exposing you. You try to get this girl kids removed, my because she's sent a picture of you with your book in there. Heel of your feet pointed to the sky like he talking to God. Probably wet, because she has said she say you like being finger. That little girl said, What if I put my finger in your and I get doo-doo on it? She said, he said, Oh, that's all right. What else, what else is whack talented for? He can't bully nobody like Suge Knight. He got in. Because he liked to play in the front yard, in the backyard. He liked to swing on the tree that swings from tree to tree like Tarzan. No Tarzan was a f in a park in that jungle by itself. So, yeah. I'm on your wacky. You've been talking about me for two, three years, boy. I've been letting you sitting back listening. Every now and then I chime in. But I see you still at it. I see you still at it, Wack. And this is what I want to tell you. I put up $100,000. You can't beat me in nothing. I done disrespected everything cripping blood in California. I done single-handedly beat up you. It ain't a thing done been done to me. If don't nobody do nothing to him, the streets is dead. If don't nobody, what done happen, Wack? Let's address this. Is the streets dead now, Wack? Let's talk about it. Let that be y'all conversations on Clubhouse today. Wack 100 made a bold statement. And boy, they were saying, yeah, yeah, he ain't going to make it. Wack 100 said if Charleston White make it past Christmas, the streets is over with. You already know it's Yada.TV.